everybody to Dwarf Fortress Tutorial 2012. <coughs> I just woke up a little bit ago, so I'm tired. But last video we went over designations and stockpiles. So today we're gonna see how we use that to carve out a bit of a fort. So we're gonna wanna hit D and then H and then carve out a little three by three area right there. Then we're going to unpause. And they're gonna do that. Now channeling just kind of makes downward ramps into a little area, like so. Now we're going to hit Z to remove a few of these. Oof, there's a lot of water here. No. We're going to want to do that and carve out a little 5x5 five five area to the side right there. And that is where we're going to put our trading depot. Which means the rest of this only needs to be 2x2. Two two. And then once you're up here, make this go over to here. And bada bing bada boom. Um, suppose you want to do this. Carve out a nicely sized area right here. Little access to the next room and carve out another. And for here, just so going to carve out one big room. This is only if you don't start near a hill or you know, let me find a mountain, like right here. You can just dig right into here. You can just hit D and then D again and then you can just carve a path, but we don't want to do that since we started all the way over here. Now our doors are going to happily mine this little area. This is sandy loam. We can build farms on this. That is why our our indoor farms are going to be on this level. Next level down is probably um, well, it might not be, but there's going to be stone a few layers down, and we'll get to that. While they're doing that, we might as well designate a few more trees. And that means we're gonna <coughs> need to put an indoor stack file somewhere, which is what this little area is gonna be. Okay. Now they're just about finished. So we're gonna make an everything stockpile. So they're gonna take everything from this wagon and put it in this little space right here. So you're gonna hit P for stockpile, T for custom settings. You're gonna wanna enable the following this or furniture. 
ammo, coins, bars, blocks, gems, finished goods, leather, cloth, wood, weapons, traps, and armor. Now it's just going to take everything and it's going to put it right in here. And you might notice I didn't put food in there. You're going to want to hit P and then F and then food stockpile. And as you can see, they're dragging stuff indoors. And you can hit K and look at individual things. Zabu. Um some logs, thread, cloth, stuff like that. You can also hit Z and check what day it is. Um it's just like the real world, there's three months except they're not named that, or there's three months per season early spring, mid spring, late spring, early summer, mid summer, late summer and so on and yeah you just in succession games you just go until you hit spring again so you just do one full year but that's not what we're doing Now we're going to designate the miners again. We're going to hit I, or no, we're going to hit J, and we're going to select this little area, 2x2, two two, because if it was 1x1, one one, they there would be way too much traffic, and there would just be traffic jams all the time, and we don't want that. So, he did that really quick. Silty clay. I like using stone be for uh, rooms because it makes people happier. Hmm. Keep digging out some areas. Ooh, here we go. This is where we're going to put the residences. So, hit mine. Oops. Okay. Um, this. X there and hit D Oops. just make it a three by one space because they can live with that There's eight spaces, so we have room for one extra. Ooh, we struck a leg night. Hit A and then Z. This is leg night. I'm pretty sure lignite is the ore that you can smelt into coal. Yep. And rock crystal. Okay. And now to mine out some of this, we're just gonna designate a little bit of an area to be mined. Now, you might be wondering, what about food? Where's our farm? Alright, you're not going to be able to last off just picking berries and stuff. You need a farm, and you need to 
arm plump helmets. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit B, P, and you're gonna wanna hit U. Until you have a six by six, and or you're gonna until you have six spaces up. Then you're gonna wanna hit K. Until you have six spaces across. And there is a six by six farm plot. And he is going to create that. One of our farmers will. Then you're gonna wanna hit Q. And go over here. And now you need to designate what it's gonna grow. So we just want it to farm plump helmets year round. So hit A, plump helmets. B for summer, plump helmets. C for autumn, plump helmets. E for winter, plump helmets. And now that farm is going to effectively create and produce food. Now you're also going to want to put up a a good three by three area right here this guy is still working this coal is going to be useful for when we start smelting trust me Something I like to do, I'm going to hit H and then Z, since this is the gate hotkey. So now if I go over here, hit 1, or F1, it'll take me back. Go up here, hit F1, it'll take me right back. It's just useful for hopping between areas in your fortress. It's really useful for deep mining, because when you go all the way down there, you don't want to just hold shift and comma all the way back up. Okay, so one of the dwarves got around to mining that little area. <clears throat> now you're going to hit B, W for workshop, L for still. Now still is where they're going to create booze. And why do we have slate? It's so creepy. And we'll just make it out of stone because we don't want to waste logs. Chirk is a stone. The starting we chose gave us two miners, a woodworker, who was also a woodcutter, stone worker, a mason, a craftsman, a leader, and a farmer. And I'm not sure what this leader is good at. He's a brewer. Okay. So he's building that. And he built it. Now, you know what I have? Hit. <coughs> you're gonna hit A on this. Well, you're gonna hit Q. Go over to set A and B for brew drink. And we'll have it brew about four. And it makes about ten drink each time. And it also produces seeds. So we don't want to run out of food though. So. I'm going to designate a good few more plants for now. And that is all for this episode of the tutorial. I will see you next time.